What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another episode of Pure Farming, and in today's episode, we're gonna be doing some side tasks, pretty much. We're waiting, I gotta like wait for the days to come through, and I don't wanna fast forward it too much, so we're gonna wait for, uh, we're gonna wait for the days just to go by a normal rate, while our wheat over here, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Aha, right here. While it, uh, it gets ready, and it's, it's we just gotta wait for it to go pre grow, pretty much, so. We're gonna wait for that, but today we're gonna to be doing some pear harvesting and a few other things, depending upon how long it takes. So let's go talk to this dude. Hello, there are some pears left to be picked up from my orchard, but employees are having a day off. The client is waiting, and no one is willing to return to work, even for a higher rate. Hey, I will. I can't lose this client. If you le lend me a hand, you can easily earn a considerable amount. What do you say? So for an hour's worth of work, you give me five thousand dollars. So we need attach the trailer, pick up the pears from the orchard. Deliver the pairs to the warehouse. We will accept Let your task. When you're done. All right. So, which one? All right, we'll drive over here with our car. Uh oh. Oh, let me shut this off. Gotta get that sound out of here. Ooh, ooh, wait, sound. Radio volume gone. Cute. There we go. You gotta shut that, that sound volume off. Alright, so pick up the pears from the orchard. So the pears are over here. Oh! So we can use our truck as a trailer so the bed of our truck actually works. Ten boxes. Oh yeah, two stacked on top. Alright, and now... Let's see, what do they want us to do now? So, pick them up. And that's pretty much it. So, I can't attach... I don't have a trailer attachment to this, which sucks. Alright, so storage is full. So, then deliver the pairs to the warehouse. Is it this warehouse? Is this what he's talking about? I hope this is what he's talking about. Because we have no idea. Alright, we're going to go first person. This looks really good. Whoa. Controls in this are a little funky, too. Alright. around. Is this really all they wanted me to do is for $5,000? Just pick up pairs and deliver them? Is this the warehouse that they're talking about? I feel like it's not. Um, this is the fruit storage, shed three, I feel like there's an actual warehouse that we're supposed to be selling these to, but we can't hold that much. Let's check and see if it says it in our email or our tasks, active tasks. Okay. All right, well, let's drop these off. We're going to do this. We're going to... Yeah, there it is. We're going to hop in our tractor, which I think already is attached. Yes. All right, now we're going to take this bad boy all the way over here. Um, and we're going to use this to transfer the pairs. I hope we can use this this trailer for them. I would assume so, because uh, it's just, just a tipper. Uh, but I'm going to drive over there, and I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back. All right, so let's see if we can attach this up. Oh, okay, so this pours it in before it did boxes. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Oh, whoa, so we could, we could steal pears and sell them using our truck, actually. <gasps> Dude, okay, okay. All right, so this was the warehouse. Whoa, well, what the heck? Those pears are looking real nice, though. Look at those. So many of them. So from the looks of things, we might have... Okay, so we probably... Here. Let me see if I can take some pears. I don't think we can take any pears. <laughs> Dang it, okay. 
All right, that's fine. That's fine. We should have just kept them with us. Hopefully this will work though. All right, drop all these bad boys. Ooh, there is a lot. Oh, does he want us to make multiple trips? Okay. That's a couple thousand pounds. Oh, we're gonna jackknife it. All right, we're gonna take another loop around. All right, so it's basically what we gotta do. We gotta do this, it looks like four times, because that was about 25%. So I gotta loop this four times. Let me see if I can actually attach it up. Or if there's another spot they want me to go to, pick them up. I hope this is the only one. Yep, looks like it. Oh, I love how cool that is. All right, guys, I'm gonna loop through this really quick. Fast forward it, you guys will see it in like a blink of your eye. So give me just a second. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. All right, so we are now full and the container has been emptied. So I'm pretty sure this is our last uh, our last trailer full right here. So this is what they're wanting us to do as a trailer, not our not our truck. Probably could have done our truck, but it would have taken us a lot, a lot longer. All right, drop it. Dropping it takes by far the longest part. So this is gonna be what, 50%, 53% pairs? Oh, 54. All right. There we go. We finished it. Check our emails. Task report. That, that you receive a fee of $5,000. All right. Equipment used to transport crops. Various crops affects the maximum speed of your vehicles. Okay. So, it depends upon what you're carrying. You can go faster or slower. All right. Let's hop into our... Ooh. Our Mitsubishi. All right, we're gonna go find another task to complete. Uh, barley. Ooh, is there something else we can do? I don't know if I want to do barley harvest. What does this guy go over here? Run in the engine. Ooh, okay. We're gonna go way up here and we're gonna do the run in the engine. Where in the heck was that at? Oh, I didn't set a key, that's why. There we go. All right, 1,200 yards away, let's go. Oh, something else I figured out, everybody. If you guys don't know this, um, in this game, if you're driving on asphalt roads, you're a lot quicker. Um, the game just like popped up and gave me a little hint for that. So I was like, oh, hey, that's a little helpful. There's our, our wheat right there. Oh, handling is on point. All right, everybody, we're gonna launch this baby. We're gonna send it. Oh. Oh, that didn't sound good. Ooh, there we go. That's not too bad. All right, we are just flossing it. Oh man. Oh, and look at this. This, this, everything over here is still irrigated. All right, we're going over to fodder. Get some fodder over here. Uh, crank it in and whip it. Oh, that didn't look very good. All right, hello, sir. How are you doing? Alright. What does he want me to buy? Nope, this is the wrong one. I need him on the backside. I was going to say, I was like, wait a second. I wonder if they have John Deere in this game. They probably don't have John Deere, because I'm pretty sure this is a uh, foreign game. Ooh, I think he's, we're going to be running that big truck right there. What's up, dude? This is the same dude that gives me all my tasks. Alright. 
Hey man, the thing is, the DAF must be ready for a customer as soon as possible. The guy, this guy is on the already on the way. You can imagine that I don't want to lose this deal. Man, this guy's losing deals like left and right. Jeez, dude. Uh, customer is coming from another state to buy the last remaining bottle. The problem is the engine must be run in first. I admit, oh, so he's got a break in the engine. I admit that my condition on this deal is quite nice, so I can offer you quite a lot for doing this. All you have to do is drive the usual route and get back to the parking lot. What do you say? Well, I don't know the usual route, dude, but I'll try it. You, we'd strike a deal. Yes, we struck a deal. Ooh, brand new DAF XF Euro 6. All right, well, I'm going to be real with you, man. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know the route very well, but I'll try my best. All right, we're going to go in first person. So we gotta do this somewhat quick, and I'm pretty sure, jeez. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make us stay all on the road, so. We're going 80 miles an hour? Okay, that's kilometers. I was like, whoa, we're going 80 miles an hour? No, 55, baby, 55. So there's probably gonna be quite a few checkpoints. It's literally just gonna have us loop this entire uh, section of the map, I'm assuming. Which is good. It gives us out here, shows us a little bit more of what we got to deal with. Woo, we got a bed in the back. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, dude, the snapping in this game can really kind of mess you up if you're like moving around too quickly. It can really, 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 really throw you off. All right, checkpoint six. Oh man, I am, I am hauling right now. I don't know, I wouldn't call this a break-in. Break-ins are like 700, 500 miles, somewhere in there. Maybe a thousand sometimes. Probably a thousand for these big engines. Ooh, slam on them brakes. Oh, what? Are you telling me I didn't hit that? All right, whip her around. Let's go back to that one. I totally thought I went through that checkpoint. Okay. Okay, nobody saw anything. <laughs> Okay, so when you say break in, you mean break it, right? Because, yeah, I just kind of ruined that one. Alright, now I think we're back on our way home. There you go, checkpoint seven. Yeah, we're just about back. This is like, what, eight, nine checkpoints? Ooh. I feel like this thing is. I'm gonna hop in the first person, or the third person view. This thing is way too big for this road. Yeah, this thing is like within a foot on each side of the road, which is super tight. All right, we're passing you. Elevator Co., see you later. Oh, geez, this place is huge. I didn't think we'd have to be driving around this much. There we go. What is that sound? Is that raining or is that clapping? All right, now we are in town, everybody. Oh boy, we are doing it. This thing can hold 396 gallons. Jeez. Ah. Brakes need a little work. Just gonna. <laughs> we're just gonna back this up. Come on. Let's go. Back it up. I think we got 56 minutes left on the clock, though, so I think we'll be fine for time. Yes. All right, checkpoint 10. Whoa. What the heck is happening here? Uh, checkpoint 10 is back at the place. Oh, wow, that's kind of mean how they did that. All right. So we can't leave this area, so we can't go back down through that area ahead of us. So we got to back it up, which is the only reason why I am going backwards. All right. And then I think we take this left. I think it's a straight shot over from here. Man, there's a lot of rocks in this game. I didn't realize that Montana... I think, yeah, the Montana version had this many rocks. Oh, I really want to get to Japan and Germany, though, because there's there's other maps in this game, if you guys don't know. Uh, it's Japan and Germany and I think two others. There's a few other European ones. Um, oh, and then there's, like, Colombia, too, actually. 
And I really want to get to those maps, but I got to get through all the basics in the Montana one because I mean it's USA from from the US. I gotta gotta do the basics at least. I gotta do something. I think they said pretty much once you beat this level, like once you have a ton of money, you have all the fields, you've done all the greenhouses, all the orchards, and all the uh, uh, what do you call it? Po uh, power, uh, solar stuff, solar stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you do all the solar stuff, then you pretty much you're at that point where you're just kind of done. You've already beat everything, so yeah. All right, reach checkpoint number ten. All right, baby, I'm here. There we go. There we go. That's an extra 10k into our bank account. Email, task report, running the engine. All right. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the task. Now that for you to receive, now that you receive a fee of ten thousand, looks like the seller's not going to lose his customer. Well, you're welcome there, Jim Bob. All right, see if we got anything else in here. Oh, that's V. Got hit M. All right, anybody else here for us to help? I wonder if we can go off over here into these. Oh, looks like we can. Yeah, we can go over off here. Maybe do some logging. Ooh. All right, so let's go to this dude. He wants us to do a harvest. Oh, I just hope it's not field 13. Let's set that back up. Hey, where you at, boy? Where you at? Oh, there he is. All right. Let's go check out that harvest. Uh, we'll use tractor for this. Or for the harvester for this. All right, make sure we're empty. I sure could use a hand. All right, barley harvest. Hello, I need to catch a plane to Columbia. Business, you know how it is. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, you just uh, take a plane off to Columbia. You know, you know how it is. I have a task for you. Could you harvest the barley from my field? It would be such a pity if the wonderful crops are wasted. Once you harvested the crops, you need to deliver them to the warehouse near the train station. Not for free, of course. What do you say? 10K. Oh, that's a little steep for three hours worth of work. Uh, okay. I'll take yeah, the task. If you need anything else. All right, sounds good. So I think it's the same like guy every single time, just different like faces on him. Oh, uh, why would he be all the way over here? Dang it! So I drove this thing all the way over because I figured the crop was over here, but apparently not. So all right, I'm gonna drive over here. See you guys in a second. All right, guys. You know what? I think I decided I'm not gonna do that actually. That is a lot of work for like not really much of a payoff, honestly. If I, I want to do this type of work, let me shut this mechanism off. If I want to do that work, I'm just going to do it on my own field because I'll make way more money and my fields are smaller. Because um, this could literally take me three hours. I'm not doing that. I uh, need to figure out how to drop that task. Uh, can, I, can I drop it? I don't think so. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. It's just gonna take too long. If I really wanna like make money like that, I would much rather do my own field because it's way easier and I actually get to keep all of the barley and wheat and I get to use it. So I'm gonna find out how to get rid of that guy's uh, quest I just got. But next time guys, we will be harvesting our own field and doing some other stuff. Uh, we're gonna end it here though because I got two tasks done. I wanna see if I can pick up an apple orchard or something like that because those seems pretty easy. Like you only have to water them and irrigate them, or water them and pesticides on them, and then they're pretty much ready to harvest. So I think we might be trying that out soon. But anyways, guys, if you guys are liking Pure Farm in 2018, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys aren't yet, hit that subscribe button too, and knock that little bell icon so you guys can see exactly when all my videos are posted. Hop on that notification squad so I can respond to everybody as soon as possible. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next Pure Farming video.